Hello and welcome back everyone. This is the continuation of the last video that you have seen about the Greek gift sacrifice. In the last video, we have seen the Greek gift sacrifice only in the French defense. Now in this video, I will be showing you that how you can do it in the various other openings as well. So let's first start with the most common opening, E4, E5. Now in E4, E5, you can play a strange little move like pawn d4 and once he captures on the d4 square now you can play your pawn to f4 going for the king's gambit just shifting the uh, line completely from d4 to f4 now here if he does the normal developing like knight c6 protecting the pawn on d4 we give an attack further we play a knight to f3 they play their bishop c5 giving some extra protection to the pawn on d4 square now we simply play a pawn to d3. Our idea is to push the pawn on e5 sometime soon. That was the idea to play the pawn to d4 and sacrifice it on the d4 square so that you open up the diagonal for your bishop to go on the h7 square. Right? Now here he cannot play the knight to f6 because always there's a threat that the pawn might come to e5 square. But after knight f6, you can play castle let him castle both the sides doing the normal development now you play a pawn to e5 and once the knight goes on the d5 square or anywhere else you follow up with the same idea of the greek gift sacrifice you sacrifice your bishop on that seven square the king captures it now knight g5 comes in comes with a check and this is even better because now if the king goes to g6 square you see you can push the pawn directly on the f5 square there's a pawn on f4 that can go to f5 that is also protected by the rook so it is much more better than the last variation right he goes in the corner and now you can go in queen g4 eventually it is going to be a checkmate on the h4 or h3 square anywhere the queen chooses to do it so this was all about the e4 e5 line let's see what if your opponent is a sicilian player with e4, if he plays his pawn to c5, then you start with the wings gambit. You play a pawn to b4, he capture, you give another pawn on the a3 square, let him capture and then you play a pawn to d4, controlling in the, in the center. If now he plays normally like e6, you go for c3, d5, you see the position is little bit transposing it in this French defense, right? After d5, we can lock the variation by playing our pawn to e5, lock the doors. And after knight c6, bishop d3, we are waiting for him to push his, like, bring his bishop out, get the knight, castle, and then we'll play a knight to f3, knight g5, bishop h7. That is our main idea. Now, when I said that this is transposing something like to the French defense, let's see how you can, just by moving some moves here and there you can do it in the french defense as well so after e4 in the french defense they start with e6 we play our knight to f3 let's say they play their pawn to d5 and we push further the pawn on e5 square now knight cannot come to f6 if they play their pawn to c5 you start with the wings gambit again you play a pawn to b4 let him capture you play a pawn to a3 he captures it again and now you go for the pawn to d4 knight c6 pawn c3 knight comes on the e7 square you play or when the knight can go anywhere let's say on the f5 square or on the g6 square now we can first capture on the a3 square wait for a move let him play his bishop to e7 now he has decided that he wants to castle on the king side so remember in the last video i have shown you a move like pawn h4 right that was helping to open up the rook while the queen was getting a support from the rook we can also rook lift it at some point so now you go for the move pawn h4 now here if he ignores the threat and he castles then you can first attack the knight you play a pawn to g4 if he captures on the h4 square well we capture it back the bishop captures it and you are trapping the bishop in the corner now if he captures your pawn on the g5 square with his bishop then it is gone because bishop h7 check king cannot capture it the king has to go in the corner and you can play your queen to h5 attacking uh, protecting the bishop further and aiming for a checkmate if he blocks it by like say he's uh, playing his bishop to h6 blocking it over there then you can simply capture the bishop the pawn captures it back queen captures it and it is going to be a checkmate soon right okay so this was in the sicilian defense that transposes to the french defense in french also if someone plays their pawn to c5 you know what you have to do now so this is something that you can try as an attacking player in many different lines in many different variations 
if in case you have missed our last video on the greek gift sacrifice how you can how you can properly aim for that seven square making sure that your knight goes on the g5 square at times you are also pushing your pawn to h4 if you have missed it i have pasted the link in the description box do go and check out that link and you are an attacking player you should definitely know this for more such amazing tricks and traps stay tuned with us till the time hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel thank you